Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own dethatching mower blade. And the reason I'm making this video today is because it's so easy, you can do it at home. Also, I get a lot of customers that come in the shop and they say, I cannot find a dethatching mower blade for my lawnmower. However, today I'm going to show you how to make this dethatching mower blade in 15 minutes. Now grab your lawnmower blade. You can mark little spots like this if you want. The reason I did this is because I will be putting some grass trimmer line in these little holes. And by the way, the trimmer line I'll be using is 0.130 thousandths of an inch. And now using my drill with a 532nd drill bit, I'll be drilling all these holes here. Now there's going to be quite a few holes to drill here. There's six on the one side of the blade and then just repeat the exact same process on the other side of the blade. And the last hole. Okay, what I've done now is cut six pieces here, three for each side of the blade. They're about five to six inches long. Now you can have them longer or shorter depending on your mower. And now what you want to do is identify the side of your blade that will be facing the grass, which is this side here. Remember the blades always turn this way. So now what I'm going to do is put three on this side here. So I'm going to start by the side which is facing the mower. and then put the other half on the other side. And you can use a pair of pliers to pull the string out because it's quite stiff. Now, if you do cut the string on an angle, it will go in the holes a lot easier. Now I've got one side done and I'm just going to repeat the process on the other side. And here we go, all six pieces are on the blade. If this string wants to curl in like this, you can actually bend it out like I'm doing here. If you find that this is too long, then you can just go and snip them to the right length for yourself. And once they're worn out, you just repeat the process, get more string, cut it up in pieces and do this. So as you saw, it's really easy to do. Some people actually put some small bolts instead of the string from the weed whacker, but I prefer the string like this because it's more flexible and it's much easier to replace. So again, you can do this yourself at home. All you need is a 532nd drill bit, a drill, and some 0.130 thousandths of an inch string trimmer string. So thanks for watching guys. I hope the video will help you out here to do this yourself at home. If you like the video, please share it, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.